In question nine, we've been given an exponential sequence, which is this one. Uh, we have to find the sum of first n terms. So let's find the sum of first n terms. The formula for that is Sn equal to a one minus Rn over one minus R. So I'm sure that it will be less than uh, one that's why i wrote one minus r to the power n otherwise i could have written r to the power n minus one why because later they're asking about sum to infinity so that means r is less than one let's confirm so let's divide four over three second term by the first term okay so a2 divided by a1 that's what we have done to find r so it will be four over three multiplied by half this one just cancel 2 over 3 this is r it is less than 1 so the formula is correct so let's find sum of first n terms a the first term is 2 1 minus 2 over 3 to the power n i put a bracket because power n is only with 2 third and including 3 if i don't put this bracket n is supposed to be with only two so put a bracket there one minus two over three so let's simplify this one now so two one minus two over three to the power n equal to one minus two third will be one third and when we write one third just write one here and the denominator make it a numerator here so it becomes six one minus two to the power Two third to the power n. This is the sum of first n terms. What is the next thing? Least value of n such that the sum to infinity exceeds the sum of first n terms by less than one. So sum to infinity is more. Okay. So b part sum to infinity will be a over one minus r. So, which is uh, 2 over 1 minus 2 third, which will be again 2 divided by 1 times 3 on top, so 6. So, we have to find the number of turns when this 6 is more than uh, uh, the sum to sum of first n terms by less than 1. Okay, so sum of first n terms we just found out earlier. So sum to infinity minus Sn is less than 1. That's what they're saying. Sum to infinity is 6. Sum of first n terms is 6, 1 minus 2 over 3 to the power n. It should be less than 1. Okay, so 6 taken common from both will be left with 1 minus 1 plus this minus will make this minus positive 2 to the power 3 and less than 1 1 and 1 cancel out so we are left with 6 2 third to the power n less than 1 so let's divide both sides by 6 so what does this become 2 to the 2 over 3 to the power n is less than 1 sixth. Now, uh, let's take log of both the sides. Log, let me write log here. Log and log. So it becomes n log 2 third is less than log 1 sixth. Let's divide both sides by log 2 third. log 2 third is negative it's less than 1 so it will be definitely be negative whenever a particular division is a negative number and we have an inequality we make, we make it we change the sign so we'll have to change the sign with cancelling this so what do we get n is greater than log 1 sixth over log 2 third if you put your these numbers in your calculator we get 4.419 so n is more than this number and n 
cannot be a decimal number so and has to be the next number which is 5 that is my answer